All right, so looking at my stage, this was the step I did. This is the next step I'm building. I'm going to play with the eye. I built the fire, made that bigger. I'm gonna play with um, the eye squint. Maybe expand it a little bit. Like that. Change the uh, the pose a little bit. Maybe just with warp. Kind of heaving. Change the coral a little bit. Make these effects deeper. Change the mouth a little bit. Open even more. And then change the clouds in the customary way and change the stars. Something a little weird with the fire. Let me see if I can address that. With this new asset, I'm gonna just erase away from some of these things. The little, the little embers and stuff are fine, but when they interrupt with the face, that's a problem. So you can adjust them as you go. So from that to this, that seems a little strong. I'm gonna go ahead and warp this guy back. So he got a little stretched. There we go, let's see if that's better. Yes, okay. So now go to the very top, hold down Option, Layer, Merge Visible, remember holding down Option, select All, Command-C to copy, Command-V to paste it in. Now let's see how this fire is working. I'm gonna do a quick animation test. Go to Window, Timeline, Make frames from layers, hold down shift. I have 17 frames now. Set the timing at 0.3, say okay, play it through. Creature eats the stuff, starts burping fire. Yeah, okay, so now I just really need to commit to that fire. So before I can add more assets, I need to select all these frames, drag them down to the internal trash can. And I'm gonna hide the timeline so I, I don't get confused. And I'm working from here. A lot has changed since my first frame. Okay, now the fire. I'm gonna turn on the next one. And I'm going to let it grow and push down. And then even maybe warp it because these are individual layers now I can work with. And then erase away the stuff that's getting in the way of the face. I think I'm gonna leave the eye where it is. Maybe even make it a little bit darker. Or intensify its contrast a little. It shows up a little better. All right. Uh, more fire, more fire. Let's see. Warp this a little bit more. Seems to grow even more. 
change the overlay, change the environment, mist, change the pose. Whoops, gonna anchor. Keep it simple. And change the coral effect. Now I'm going to start letting it darken more and more. I think the mouth is good. Move the clouds. Move the stars. And see that fireball just grow and grow until it consumes everything. Hold down Option, Layer, Merge Visible. Select All. Command C to copy on the stage. Command B to paste it in. Command S to save. All right. Command D to deselect. Delete the merged layer. Add more fire. Transform it bigger. Warp it. You can see I'm just adding on to the fire that came before. Just more and more. And then erasing away to shape it. So eventually, it's going to overtake everything. The torrents and torrents of flame, right? My eyes good. My creature. Let's just again do a simple, just keep it moving a little bit with Puppet Warp. It's tedious, but it keeps it consistent. At this point, I might actually lock the eye onto my creature. So I might merge all of these. It's a little scary, but. It will save me some time. So I can just puppet warp it with the eye involved. I still have the mouth separate. And I have plenty of other copies of my creature. I drop the mouth a little bit more. Okay, and then move the clouds. And move the stars. So I'm creating new frames much, much more quickly than I was at the beginning. Layer, merge visible while holding down options, select all. Command C, copy, go to stage, command V, paste. And keep building the fire. So now it's starting to obscure more and more, which is good. I can have it really affect the lighting in a different way. In fact, I might even take this overlay layer and adjust its levels to be brighter in general. It's funny when you're playing with things as really strong and contrast it is fire, and then you're also playing with the subtleties of texture overlays. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this and then 
Uh, what am I doing? Edit Puppet Warp. And now the eye will go with it. I'm not doing the bulging eye again. But I will start more of an outer glow again. So now everything's brightening up. But I still have to move up. Oh, I still need to darken the coral. I'm going to change that color to something a little darker. And the gradient overlay, make that even stronger. OK. Need some intense colors now. Where is my coral? Here it is. The blue is pretty intense. I'm going to erase away from that a little bit. OK, now move the clouds, move the stars. And make the layer. Option, layer, merge visible. <coughs> Select all, copy command C, go to stage, paste command B. Nice, okay. Command D to deselect, get rid of that. Make even more fire. Torrents and torrents of flame. It'll feel like a wave coming out. It must have a directionality to it. It's gonna be big. And the coral is going to start getting dark. Not like that, though. I'm going to start doing an inner shadow. It's going to start to burn down. Let's see, without much noise. There we go. Change the pose. And as I puppet warped this creature so much, it starts to get softer and softer. Because as the computer is making up pixels, it tends to keep having to soften. I'm going to add even more fire. So I think I erased away a lot. And now the fire is just going to kind of start overwhelming everything. <laughs> 